Hello and good morning. It's the first day of Potfest. It's Friday. Um, I'm just getting ready. We slept in the van last night and it was freezing, so both of us didn't have the best nights of sleep. I think as well we were worried about Mango and how she's getting on, but um, I'm just getting ready now. Um, it starts at 10, ends at 4, so um, I just kind of thought to get there for... Well, we're going to leave our little campsite, which is very nice by the way, at... Well, just as soon as, because we were silly and we forgot a lot of stuff for our like camping gear. Um, so we can't make tea or coffee or cook anything. Um, thankfully we've got an electric hook up. So that's one thing. But yeah, we didn't do very well in terms of um <laughs> organization um i'd like i've not brought it's like i've missed missed parts of our cooking stove which but obviously i just like i think i was more focused on um fight getting my pots Hello, um, it's currently Sunday and it's the last day of Potfest, sorry I've got a heater on because it's quite cold. Um, I'm just sat in the van um, doing my makeup and I thought I would just check in. I haven't done like a lot of filming um, but I thought I would like film like a bit more today like of people's stands and stuff so then I've got a little bit more footage. Um, but yeah, it, it hasn't... <laughs> it's not been the best i've had a really nice time like putting money and sales to the one side for just a minute like i've had a really lovely time and i've met some really nice potters and like people who i feel like i can kind of stay in contact with and like i've followed like a whole load of people on instagram and like that's been really really nice um and it's like the first event where i feel well not the first event but it's been very much an event of like felt very like community based um and like it's just felt like this little like really nice like little bubble of like creative people who are very sweet who are very kind um it's absolutely chucking it down outside so i do apologize if you can hear the rain in the van um but yeah um i haven't done very well in sales um so far i'm currently actually like at a loss um which i'm there's like today's sunday so there's one more day so like i'm very open to the fact that like anything can happen i'm not completely writing it all off just yet but um like yeah i just um i've only sold like uh i've made like 166 pounds i believe over the two days so far um i only sold like two things on the friday and i was feeling a bit like oh and then this really lovely couple bought like a hundred um and 14 pounds worth of my things which was really really nice and really encouraging um but i've had lots of people say like how nice my work is and like i've had lots of people like connect with my work and lots of people like yeah picking it up saying like how nice it is how lovely it is lots of like really lovely quite like validating compliments but then i don't quite know why that hasn't like translated into like a sale and again like i know not everything's about money but obviously this is my job so i think it's important to talk about the finances and things like that um so yeah i'm not really sure what it is or what i can do differently or because I try to, the pieces that I've got are like a mix of like functional wear and also like more 
like decorative pieces because I kind of thought I'll do like a mix of both. It just um I had like a good cry <laughs> yesterday just because I felt really like a bit disappointed. Um I think I was like hoping to just like not that I was hoping that I was gonna make thousands or whatever, but I think I was just hoping to like at least make back like the money I spent on the table and then the money I've spent on like my accommodation. Um thankfully it's been obviously quite cheap because we're staying in the van, but yeah because i think in total i've spent um the event was like 240 pound and then where we're staying the little campsite was 80 pound so that's like 300 and um 20 pound i think um and maybe i did have a little high expectation because it was like it's a pottery event so um what was around it was like no two potters were the same it was all very very different um and i had like a really nice chat with matt who's like the um he runs the event and he gave me some really good advice about my stool which i kind of like i was kind of a bit aware of i just i think i wasn't like i didn't really realize like how big of a space that I had and I didn't realise like how much table space I would have. I thought I was going to just have like one table. Um, so yeah, there's like a lot to think about for maybe like next year because I would quite like to do it again because like I said I've had like a really nice time but um, obviously I can't just keep like riding on things because I'm having a nice time like I do need to earn money as well so um, I just don't seem to like I just haven't really like done particularly well at like events so far um like I think the most I've ever made on a market was like 300 pound and I've tried like a handful of different ones um but yeah just like I never seem to do like really really well and I'm not sure why that is um and like there's obviously there's a really big like independent ceramic market in london which i'd really like to go to but again it's just like the costs of doing something like that and then it's like such a big risk that you take doing it because obviously you're not guaranteed that you're going to get that money back um so yeah i just feel like a bit deflated um and i feel quite like i don't really know what i'm gonna do just because again like not that i was expecting to make a ton of money but i think i was like at least hoping to make like a little bit of profit to kind of help carry me through to like christmas um but again there's always today like this is the last day but i'm not feeling like particularly hopeful right now because it's absolutely chucking it down the rain and it's really horrible so i can't imagine a lot of people will be coming out to the event but again it only takes like one person to like have a really really good sale um yeah so like not feeling the best um and i don't really know how to move forward with my career right now um i was talking to kaya last night and it was like the tattooing stuff came up again because obviously like I feel like if I went back to tattooing that could give me like a bit of an income and then I could then the ceramics and stuff would feel just like it would be more of an enjoyment and then if I make money from it that's really nice it's not like my sole income but I just have a bit of fear I think of like going back to tattooing and like fear of feeling like anxious again um even though I don't I don't know that's gonna happen it's like a what if but I can't seem to like move from that mindset um because I did really, I like, I keep reminding myself, like, I did really enjoy the tattooing, like, I really liked it, and, like, I want to, I'd love to feel like that again, like, I'd love to feel, like, the enthusiasm, that motivation, that really, like, passion for it again, because I was really, like, passionate about it for, like, a really long time, but I don't know if it was just, like, the anxiety just kind of, like, depleted all of that and just made it feel really hard, and so, yeah, I don't know what, I guess maybe, like, my thoughts have come from, like, the most previous ex the most recent experience that i've had was obviously when i left tattooing to have a bit of a break for my mental health because i just didn't feel like my anxiety was getting any better um but i just don't know how to like 
tackle it like in my mind again if that makes sense um because i feel like before i had a lot of like almost like tools and like ways of thinking about things that made it like although i was really anxious it made the anxiety a little less where now i feel like i've depleted all of those kind of strategies and they don't feel as like useful anymore um or just don't feel like they work i don't know if it's because i've like tried and tried and i've like, used them for like the past like four years and then it just feels like like they're not working as much anymore um so yeah i mean i've got like a therapy session in november so we'll, i'll see how i feel around that but um yeah i've got like another market in november so we'll see like i've got a forage one and again i always really enjoy that but again it's like i feel like the past like handful of markets that i've done um i've really enjoyed them but i've just not made like enough money for them to be like worth it um and i don't know maybe this is just like part of the process is is it that just like you have to kind of like really trial and error markets and it's like again it's like it's not ever guaranteed that you're gonna get like really good sales but i thought maybe by now i would have been able to find like the mark like a market that um i did well at or like i would get like a decent amount of income at um but yeah i don't know anyway um this is the last day of pop fest and i'm gonna have a nice time like no matter what i think um but yeah i'll kind of do a little debrief i think when i get home but i'll take some more footage today i think as well Monday and I've we're back from Potfest. Um we spent yeah, we're back anyway. Um sorry my hair looks a bit of a mess. I thought I'd just do like an overall uh little recap um of my time there and what I think and things like that. So um yeah, 
this video here, sorry. I'm a bit ugh, all over the place. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, so yeah, we, I, I've made, I made about 294 pounds. Um, so I was really pleased that I made back the, at least the cost of the table. Um, I'm still obviously like, um, at a loss because, um, obviously not, this is, we obviously I, I paid for like accommodation and like, um, thankfully Kyle helped with petrol and things like that. So it's not even including like any of that. Um, but yeah, just feeling like a little bit deflated at the moment and a little bit, um, flat. Um, I'm a bit like weepy, I think as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, like I really I had a really nice time. I had such a good time at Potfest. I had a, really, really enjoyed myself. Um, I met some like really lovely people, potters. Um, like my two neighbors were so nice and so lovely and like really encouraging. And that was really, really lovely. And I also met like um, a couple people kind of dotted around who kind of came by and like spoke to me. And I think like a lot of people who came and spoke to me had, had already um have been have done it already and maybe have done the pot fest for like a few years um so that was really like nice so i think obviously because i'm new they took an interest in me which was really sweet um so i met some really like lovely people which was really good and like the just the whole i think like the whole um experience was like good and it felt very like well advertised, well marketed. Like there was loads of people, like loads and loads of people. All three days, the car park was like absolutely full, absolutely rammed. Um, so it's like, as I feel like in terms of that side of things, that's that was really really good, and it was really nice. They had like two like different food vans. One did like fish and chips, and then I think another one was kind of. Um, it looked like Indian food, but I could be mistaken. And then there was some, um, a, this really lovely couple who did like teas, coffees and cakes, um, and like sandwiches and stuff. So, um, in terms of like all of that, really, really good. Um, and yeah, like, as I said, like the marketing seemed really, really good and the advertisement seemed really, really good. Um, but yeah, in terms of sales, not that great. Um, like I said, I made two hundred and ninety five or four pound um so yeah it's just i think it's really hard to sell ceramics um unless like you're viral go viral online or you know um i noticed as well that like um the demographic of people who were exhibiting were like um quite a bit older than me um i think there was maybe like one or two people who looked like well there was two people that I noticed who were like could be the same age as me but then they could have been like a little bit older um there was like a couple of people who looked like they were in their like 30s which was nice I just wonder if it's like if pot if ceramics I mean I think I kind of knew this already but it's like ceramics is a bit inaccessible for like younger people because you need like a bit of money to like to obviously start it and if you want to get like your own equipment and stuff you can do it obviously there's cheap ways of doing it um but in terms of like trying to sustain like a career from it unless you're really famous or yeah really well known then i think it's really really hard and i don't think i've realized that until maybe like this year how difficult it could be um i think just maybe being an artist in general has been really difficult for me this year um and it's like made me want to give up I think quite a few times which I've never never really felt before so um I think I've been a bit worried about um change as well in terms of like changing the way I support myself like financially in terms of getting like a part-time job and things like that um because I've been really fortunate to just I've been able to sustain myself up to like this year um which is really good and very positive but um when I look back at the little clip that I took when I was in the van, I sometimes wonder if like, because all of my, like a lot of my career so far and like 
the jobs that I've had have been solely relied on like my creativity and like what I'm producing and like I wonder if um part of my struggle and maybe a bit of my anxiety has come from that like the pressure the sole pressure on my creativity to like make an income and make a career from it um so there's always like that pressure of like where am I going to get this next lot of money like how am I going to get this next lot of money um I just I had a conversation with my mum earlier today and she mentioned that and I was like I like forget that that's a, that like I feel that um and it was like when I was speaking to my partner about what to do and then he kind of mentioned like the tattoo and again and it just my immediate bodily reaction was just like no and I don't know why and again I, do, I think it is a bit mixed up with like anxiety and things like that but I do wonder because it, it is something that is relying on my creativity to generate an income do I have a bit of a problem with that at the moment um because like he was talking about it in terms of like well you know you could try and see the tattoo him as like the the part-time job so then you can find pleasure in doing like the ceramics and stuff like that and it takes off the financial pressure but it's still obviously like relying on my the tattoo is still relying on my creativity to generate an income so um yeah i'm not really sure how i should move what i should do and i feel like i've felt like this all year and maybe i keep kind of feeling like i'm getting like knocked down quite a lot in terms of like my art in the sort of when I was I kind of looked for jobs for about like two months ish like on and off kind of would be like applying for different things and trying to apply for jobs that were like a bit creative but obviously like not solely using my creativity um and like I found that quite difficult and I got quite a lot of rejections or like I just didn't hear back from any of them so that felt like quite a big knock and then I think knock and then I think I lost like quite a bit of motivation from that and then I started selling like the takeaway mugs and like that kind of started to do okay um and like sustain me for like a little bit not brilliantly but like a little bit um but now I think I've kind of I feel like I'm back to square one again so um yeah just had better I think I had maybe I did have maybe a bit too high of an expectation from pop first um because I think it was like it's like ooh pop fest it's like quite a big you know event and they're quite like well known and you know things like that so um yeah but it on like a really positive note it I've came away from it like very thinking like there's so much that I feel like I need to do to like improve my ceramics and like how I present my ceramics as well so like when I had a chat with Matt um he kind of was really really sweet and, and kind of gave me some advice on like the obviously how my stand looks because my stand didn't look that great it looked rubbish really um but it was fine because like I didn't really know what it was gonna be like and like again it's like hindsight's great so um and like seeing how everybody else displays their work was like a really in good insight um but yeah so yeah not really like i can see all the positives from the experience but um i still feel just like i, I think i was just hoping that this would give me like the lift that i feel like i've needed all year in terms of like financial lift um and just like a boost in my confidence as like an artist because I feel like I've lost that a little bit um and like just making myself feel a bit like validated in what I'm doing which it did which it like because a lot of people said very nice things about my work and like how good it is and like how unique it is and like that was really really validating um so yeah I'm not really sure how to move forward um and like I don't know whether I should like maybe I should get a part-time job try look again for a part-time job because then maybe that will just ease all the pressure off like my creativity and then maybe that would make it easier to go back to tattooing I don't know so I just don't really know what I want to do like nothing feels very clear or like right if that makes sense it just still feels very like wishy-washy um but yeah, I'm going to end this now anyway, but I hope you enjoyed the 
vlog. I'm sorry, it was a bit of a short one. Um, but yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. It was nice to like talk about pottery all weekend as well. And like the this couple bought like 114 pounds worth of my work, which was like amazing. And just talking to them about how much they loved my work and um, oh, I had like I think I think I'll I'll put this in like the I've put I'll put it in the this other the other vlogs. But um, loads of my pieces cracked, like my bigger pieces cracked, and I wasn't able to finish like. Um, my bigger stuff and I do think if I had some slightly bigger pieces they probably would have sold because they were that couple were like really interested in like my big pot that I did that I've shown on YouTube but it got like a really big crack in it and I wonder if it's to do with like the weight like if maybe I've made the pot like too heavy or maybe the base is too heavy so it's cracked um because I did compress it but they they were he was like the it was a couple and like he was like yeah, if that didn't have a crack in it, I would have had that. And obviously that was going to be like a like a £300 pot. So um, that was really positive. But yeah. Um, so I'm going to, yeah. Anyway, I'll end this here. But thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.